Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. 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 We're gonna race to see who can roll the fastest. Ready? Set. Go. <laughs> Done. <laughs> What's good, guys? Back with another video. Today, T is gonna be making me homemade dumplings. If you guys saw our last video, we played basketball for the first time in a while, and today, we are so sore. Today was a bit of a lazy day, but let's get to the cooking. But babe, can we eat the snacks first? All right, babe, show them what you got. Just some kimbap from mm -hmm. H-Mart. That looks pretty good, actually. It was like four bucks or three bucks. This Crazy. is just to hold us over while we cook. Ready? Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Mmm. That's mm. good. Babe, what's inside of it? I think spam, egg, and fish cake. Mm. And some bread. What is that? Green onion, pork, some bread. Mm. I don't know. That looks good. Mm. That's good? Mm-hmm. Mm. That looks bald. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get cooking. Tell us what you're making. We're making beef dumplings, chicken dumplings, and a side of pickled cucumbers. Let's do it. All the ingredients are right here, and Zach will put them right here. You guys know the drill, right? Right here. here. Let's start with the side dish, cucumbers. First, you put salt on the cucumbers, and I already did that. You let it sit for 30 minutes. Now let's season our cucumber. Soy sauce going in. Sesame oil going in. Rice vinegar going in. Black vinegar going in. Red pepper going in. Sugar going in. Fresh garlic going in. We want it a little bit spicy, so a little bit of chili oil. Going in. Now we mix. Oh, baby. And then you need a taste test. All right, right ready? ready? How is it? Mmm, that's good. I feel like it needs a little bit more sh Vinegar? I don't know. It doesn't taste that fermented yet. It needs to stay in the fridge for an hour yeah. though. I don't think it doesn't taste like it doesn't have that like pickled flavor yet. I need it needs a bit more vinegar right now. Okay. We made some adjustments and put some vinegar. Now let's put it in the fridge until we're ready to eat. Now let's get started on some dumplings. But first, if I made the shot, you have to like this video. You better make it. Ah! Back to the dumplings. First, let's cut up all the ingredients and we'll be right back. Just like that, everything is nicely diced up. Beef dumpling first. Half pound ground beef. Diced up shrimp going in. Shiitake mushrooms, going in. Cabbage, going in. Green onions, going in. Now let's mix. Get in there. Time for some flavors. Soy sauce, going in. Sesame oil, going in. Cooking wine. Cornstarch. White pepper. Garlic. Ginger. Oh wait, that's too much. Salt. Pepper. Sugar. Lastly, one egg. Now mix. Now let's put it to the side. We're gonna make the chicken filling, but we're not gonna show it because it's all the same ingredients. But just add cilantro. So good Let me teach you how to fold. You don't gotta teach me how to roll. Fold, not roll. Fold. Now we're ready to fold some dumplings. I know we said homemade, but we're not making our own wrappers. We will next time though. You sure? Maybe. Let me show you guys how to do it. And I have this guy right here. You know, follow along. Ready? Yeah. We got our wrapper right here. Show your wrapper. Wrap it up. All right. Get your filling. All right. Fill me up. Fill, fill, right. fill me up first. Fill go. me up first. That might be too much, but here you go. All right. No more alphaness. We got my filling right here. All right. What are okay. we doing? Then, finger with the water. All around. All around. The whole yeah. thing? Okay. I think I have to squish down the meat. Okay, now what? Okay, ready? Now fold in half. You gotta push the meat down if it's too much, okay? Or you can finesse it. <laughs> Not can finesse it anymore. Okay. <laughs> a little, uh, damn, you gave me a fatty. Yeah. Mine's kinda overflowing. Damn, you give me a lot in here. You can take it out, look. You just go like uh, this. Once it's in, you never take it out. Okay, I'm gonna mess this one up. We have to redo it. Okay, this was not a good example, guys. Speak for yourself. But I can save it. <laughs> okay. Benito. So there's different ways, right? There could be just like this, and it's done. Like yours. Do we need, do we need to press the ends? No, so look, look, let me show, show, show them yours. Right? If that could be done, this is definitely gonna overflow. I know. 
So what I like to do to make it look nice is overlap and make the fold. Oh, that's fire. Let me see. Like that. Oh! Damn! Oh, this side looks better. Like that. Yo, what do you think I should do with mine though? It's gonna... Try, um... Should I just yeah. pinch it? Yeah, it's over first. Nah, 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 yeah, pinch it. Do you know how to do it? So, you just... I mean, not for this one. This one has so much in it. Yeah, so it's fine. Leave it like that. Oh no, that one's yours. This is gonna be a finesse one. Okay. First one... Done. We're gonna race to see who could roll the fastest. Nice I, I don't want you having mine so fat now this time, all right? Ready? This too? Ready, ready, set. All right, wait, wait, wait. Ready, set, go. <laughs> Done. <laughs> That's cat. It's I said done. It like the oh, if we do another come here, it's over for you. You, you want just, the smoke again? Just lost. You want the smoke? No. You want the smoke? I'm gonna continue out rolling tea and then we'll catch you guys in a little bit. These are all the beef ones and now let's roll the chicken ones. I'm just gonna transfer all these over so we can fit the chicken ones also. Alright, we're gonna start on the chicken dumplings now. We're gonna fold these a little bit differently and let me show you how. Let's do this. Get your wrap. Put you up. Not too much. Not too much. Don't give me too much. Use your finger. Grab it. Is that good? Yeah, I think that's good. I feel like that's a little bit too much. Still too much? Taste not. Yeah. Okay. Okay, ready? No, it's good. Now, now water on around the edges again. Then we fold. Same in thing? In half. Yep, fold in half first. Dang, yeah, I put, I put too much still. Still? Yeah. Nah, it's good, Zach. It's good. Trust. Also, you could like mush out the edges a little bit. These are fresh dough, I feel like. And then what? Okay, so this is how it looks like. And then, now, we take both end of the edges and we fold them. Chris crossed them right Oh, it's like a little freaking... Fortune cookie. Fortune cookie, yeah. Yeah, you can put some water to make it stick. It's like a wonton, more like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is kind of fire. Yours look better. I know. Doing. Doing. All right, it's all done, guys. Took us a little while, but that's okay. We're taking our time. Monkey, Monkey. hey. Monkey. Yourself, Let's start making them. Let's fry some dumps. Oil. Going in. Let's get the dumps on. Here we go. Ah, perfect. And you definitely made that one. Nice. Just about five minutes, or wait until the bottoms are crispy, and then we'll get back to it. In the meantime, let's steam some dumps. Over here we have some cabbage so the dumplings won't stick and we just place them on. We got our water boiling. Ooh. Let's put in our dumps. It's gonna be nice. Let's steam for about 13 minutes. It took about four minutes, but the bottom's the looking bottom. crispy. Ooh. All right, now let's add some water. And we're doing this so it's steamy. Here we go. Our other steamer right here, our rice cooker, putting the dumps in. While all that's cooking, let's get saucy. Soy sauce. Black vinegar going in. Sesame oil going in. Sugar going in. A little bit of water going in. Chili crisp going in. Chili oil going in. Green onions going in. Cilantro going in. Sesame seeds going in. Whatever this is going in. Just mix it up and we're all set. Let's check on these dumplings. Ooh. Let's see the bottoms. Let's see the bottoms. Ah, Crispy. Perfect. Babe. Perfect. Yep. Let's see that, babe. These are the perfect consistency right wow. there. Wow. I want to eat them already. All right, let's check in on the steam ones. Oof. Ooh, they puffed up. Those are looking nice and thick. Juicy. All right, bro. We have to have you try one of these, too. Yeah. Try it out with us. One. Monkey, you can't have this yet, buddy. Two. Three. All right. Let's do it. Two. One, two, three, two. Mmm. Hot. 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 That's good though. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's you, good. Have, you, have you had like homemade dumplings before? Never. Nah. Never. Fire. All right, these are done. Let's take them off. Let's check on these two. Ooh. Ooh. You think they're done? I think they're done. Yeah, they're done. Damn it! You cut me. What? <laughs> <laughs> I 
are you doing? I thought you were trying to scare me. You do it on your pee break. Sesame oil. Sesame seeds. Whatever this is called. Okay. <laughs> Side note, if you guys are watching this part of the video, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button because we really appreciate it. <laughs> no. Alright, we're gonna get our board. Nice board. Let's start plating. Now it's just time to plate. That's looking nice. It's time to do my due diligence. What the? While she plates, I gotta eat. Mm. Hey, okay, let me try one too. Cucumbers in the middle. Oh, that's looking nice, baby. Damn, babe. You made that? I made that. Let's see some. Yes, sir. Ah. Muffin station assemble. Assemble. And the time has come. All the dumplings are done. I am starving, babe. I'm so hungry. Let's like, eat. I'm hungry, hungry. Let's do it. Um, what are you drinking today? Oh, I got aloe. Guys, I'm just drinking water today. I know, I'm boring. I'm a simple man. <laughs> I'm a simple man. Got my aloe. Ah. All right. I Let's do excited. this, babe. Which one do you want to do first? Fried. I mean, it's not like we haven't tried it. I know, I know, I know. But let's do our official first bite on camera. Ready? I don't know why. I'm using my hand, so. Damn, why are you taking that? Oh, I was like, I that. Ready? Okay. Wait, let's dip, cheers, and then go. Dip? Yeah, and then cheers. And then cheers? Alright, ready? Whoa, 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 whoa. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. 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 You want bite? Chase it down. Mmm. Chase it down with a little cucumber. Mmm. -hmm. Now it's in the fridge. Good, right? That's good. Mm -hmm. mm. This is it's low key easy to make. It's just a little bit time consuming, but it's pretty easy. Literally, it's pretty chill. Can do. Like mm -hmm. just talk, fold, roll. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. I'll, I'll, I'll let's just slow down a little bit. Cleanse your palate. All right, I'm ready for one of these. Ready? Ready? Same dip, thing? Dip, cheers. Wow, wait, wait, ready? I already We're gonna dip. dip, cheers, eat, take like two seconds, follow up, boom. Okay, ready? okay, yeah. Dip. Dip, cheers, Chill. cheers, eat. Mmm. Wow. That's good. Look at that. That was good. Mmm. Mm. Follow up. I guess I'm eating my with my hands too. <laughs> Welcome to the That's the best way to eat. Wow, that's good, baby. Wow. So over here, we have the chicken ones, and then over here, we have the beef ones. It's good. Which one do you like more? Yeah, I was just gonna ask you that. Um, hmm. Obviously, I like this one better because it's fried. Oh, correct, yeah. But the good. filling on this one has a little bit more of a tastier feeling. Or cilantro. Yeah, but the, the the texture of this one, of course, come on. Yeah, yeah. That's a, you can't beat fried or or these type of anything fried. Yeah. Come on. But it's good. Mm -hmm. This is this is the the key factor, the low key. It's not mm -hmm. even the sauce. It's this right here. Refreshing, right? Yeah. Kind of, I'm gonna keep going. So, but right, we're not like on the same page anymore. We can just like free, free. Fine, fine, fine. Free. You think I should have made a different sauce? Mm -hmm. No. Cool. Ultimate fat ass. You know what I would have done? What? What did you have for Yeah. I, was gonna, I, I thought you were going to ask me, like, oh, it's my okay. fast. You think I could finish all this? Oh. You can. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. I know you can. I'm not going to. We are not trying to eat all of this. Mm -hmm. But I definitely could. If I wanted to. But I don't want By to. By yourself, you finish all this. Duh. I know. If you, put, if you put a movie in front of me, and I'm just sitting here, I can could, I could see On this whole thing, you will body this out. I can sit here for hours and just mm -hmm. eat. eat this, like, popcorn. Bop, bop. Um, mm. ultimate fat ass, when I was at the Chinese market today to get stuff for the dumplings, I saw a lobaco and taro mm. And I was like, slice them up, put them on the side. That was taro go fire. Mm hmm. Do you think we could spot which ones you made and which ones I made? Yeah. That's you. That's two folds. 
um, ones with extra folds are usually me. You definitely made this one. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Yo, guys. Look at that. Look at that bite right there. Take that bite. Before I do. I don't know if it'll focus, mm. but the inside of it. Shrimp. Beef. Everything else. Sauce, I like the sauce a lot. Mm -hmm. I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. Here, here's my question. Mm -hmm. Let's say this video gets 10,000 views, right? Mm -hmm. Out of those 10,000 people, how many people do you think are gonna actually make dumplings? How many people are actually gonna make, make dumplings and then how many people are gonna go get dumplings? Mm, about 15 are gonna make them. Mm -hmm. 10 maybe, 10 to 15. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Honestly, that's pretty accurate with what I was thinking. You think so? Mm -hmm. I think more like if the give if the video gets ten thousand views, I'd say two hundred people are gonna crave and get dumplings within the next like two three days, mm. and then people who are actually gonna make it, I say about between five to fifteen. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's also, so easy to make, guys. I know, it's really, I know, not, it's really like, not hard. It couldn't like they don't need to like. Make their own filling. You can just buy frozen dumplings oh, yeah. and make them, you know? Oh, oh yeah, there's more. more. <laughs> which, is, which is valid too, know, you know? know? Oh yeah, the rest that aren't on here or that we didn't make, just freeze them and use them next time. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I'm sure we're not gonna finish everything, but you know, we're so. I know, I know, I gotta stop eating so much, I know. I know. Mm. So good though. All right, babe, let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Would you rather play basketball every day as a workout or uh, do another high intensity or different type of workout? Is injuries a factor? Because if I'm playing basketball every day, that's super injury prone. You know how my body is. No, 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 no. Nah, I, I mean, can't, yes, yes, so you're yeah? Probably, yeah. I, I can't play basketball every day, guys. My knee is just, for those of you guys who don't know, I've had knee problems, I tore my ACL, um, multiple other knee things, so. Definitely can't play ball every day. Definitely not. Uh, um, ideally, kind of like what we do, play ball like once a week and then lift um, probably like four or five times a week and then maybe get like a couple jogs in. That would be ideal, but yeah, definitely not play ball every day. What about you? Um, well, I think we play about twice a week, sometimes mm -hmm. once a week, but ideally play three to four times a week, mm -hmm. do like one cardio workout outside of that um, and then just like lift or something and then like one or two rest and honestly you know? running with monkey that's man. great running with monkey is so much fun yeah huh? he's nope. so smart just... that's the only way that can get me running seriously Bro? yeah it's fun right that was so much fun yeah he's that... really our son he's really our little guy our monkey he's sleeping right now so sad I had to clean his blankets today so it looks like he has no <laughs> just one more one more, one more piece. I'm gonna put it on my plate and then no more. Okay. Mm, there's a chicken one. Huh? There's a chicken one and a beef one. Where? Oh, you found the mixer? <laughs> you making one? Maybe. You know what? Let me tell a story. Story time? Yeah. Story time. Not story time, it's kind of more like explaining my childhood a little bit. Low key, dumplings was the first thing that I knew how to make. I'm not talking about like homemaking it, but like from the bag, from the frozen Chinese market bag. So my mom taught me how to make these, and ever since then, that's why I'm a little, little, little. That's why, that's why I'm big bone, you know, big bone from the start. But uh, every day after school, when I was in high school, but this is kind of when I was like working out. Like I was in good shape, like really good shape, like lifting every day and going to basketball practice every oh, yeah. day. Yeah, yeah. So every day after, um, like. So I think it was like sophomore year of high school, so I must have been 15, 16 years old. I would come home, rip out a bag, a fresh bag of dumplings. It would be the, um, pork, and the pork and mushroom dumplings, either the mini ones or the regular size ones. I'd throw them all in a, in, a, in a pan. And at first, I was doing them all pan fried because that's the only way I learned how. But then once I learned you could boil them and, <laughs> and it's faster and you could do a bigger quantity of it, I was like, yo, I'm boiling them for now on. So I used to take the whole bag, it used to be like 40 dumplings. Put the whole bag in, boil it up, 
put it in like a nice bowl like this, but like a in like a bowl shape. I drizzle like hoisin and sriracha and a little Thai bit of chili. Thai chili. I go downstairs, turn on. I was watching at the time Lost on Netflix. I would sit there. I swear to God, until my, until like people came home, and I would just eat my dumplings in peace. And that was like. I've heard these stories. Yeah, that was lit. <laughs> but now I can only eat less. <laughs> but yeah, that's my dumpling story. Babe, you have any dumpling stories? Dumpling stories. Mm -hmm. First time I came over to your house, mm -hmm. you made me dumplings. Or like no. Not first time. Okay, there was one time you made me dumplings, and you made me this sauce, and I was like, "What is this? It's it was good. good. It was oh, good. Yeah, it was good." No, seriously. And and you were like, "Guess what it is?" We go, oh, "I don't know." You put soy sauce with honey mustard. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Do you remember that? Yes. Soy sauce, honey mustard, a little bit of Thai chili, a little bit of sriracha. I just throw, you know mix a bunch of things in, but. That honey mustard, it gives a little bit more of that no, creamy seriously. texture. seriously, I was like, wait, what is this? Like, it's good, yep. but like, I, I don't know what it is. Well, I didn't know how to cook back then. I was like, wow, this is good. Yeah. I didn't expect it from you either. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we were back in high school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah, it was after school. No day. joke, you know in high school, she literally, like, I can't even emphasize. She didn't know how to cook anything. Nothing. Ramen, maybe. Barely. It was not good. Yeah. That's your last one, or you have a new one? Last bite. Last bite, guys. What are we gonna do with all these? The last sad bite. I'm done. Pass that. Mm. Should I be done too? Dessert. What? No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> I'm satisfied. That was good, baby. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Chef. Same time tomorrow. All right, guys. The food isn't all done, but we are because you know, I'm just trying to eat just a little bit less. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, guys, this food was amazing. I highly recommend you guys try it. Um, if you guys don't want to try it this way. Definitely go out and get yourselves a bag of frozen dumplings, mm. fry them up, eat it up real quick. You know, let us know how that goes. Oh, we need to do another a social experiment. Mm. Ready? What's the word? You pick, you pick. Allo. Allo? Allo. Do you think people would know what that is? Who cares? Okay, okay. I'm okay. about to find out. Okay, okay. All right. If you guys made it to this point of the video and you're hearing this, comment down the word Allo. And if Allo. you, you want to be a little bit spicy, Aloe vera. Whoa! <laughs> Comment down below. But yeah, this was awesome. Thank you, babe. Um, this is the end of the video. If you guys are not already subscribed, please make sure you do. I will check those analytics again. Follow <laughs> later on in the next video. Um, but yeah, this is the end of the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace! Peace.